Hi everyone, welcome back. Hope you're all doing well. Um, wow, the sun is really in my eyes. Is that a little better? Okay, shorter, whatever. Um, I'm finally going to do a follow-up video to one that I posted a couple months ago. And that is, I will finally be reading Crooked Kingdom by Lee Bardugo, um, a very kind student who is moving on to high school. Uh, she was, I had her for two years. She finished annotating um, her copy of this book before the school year ended and gave me the copy to read over the summer and I am not mentally prepared to get ready for this school year. So I'm going to dedicate some time to finally read the sequel. And I know I'm late to the game, as I acknowledged in my previous video about reading um, Six of Crows for the first time and actually like finishing it. So if you haven't watched that video yet, you can to learn about my relationship with Six of Crows. I, I know this book made people cry especially if they're really invested in uh, the first one and the Grisha verse. And I do really like the world. I'm definitely not a diehard fan. I'm not looking up all the fan art and I haven't watched the newest season of the show or anything like that, but I do enjoy it. So I'm a casual fan, if you will. So I'm going to finally read, annotate this book, um, enjoy all of her lovely annotations. So while I read this, I will just um, periodically check in with you all. I'll vlog my experience. I will review it at the end of this video. And I kind of hope it just shores me too, even though I am a casual fan because I would love to feel like, I don't want to feel sad, but I would love to just feel a lot, you know? Okay, I need to start reading it now. quick check-in um so it's been a couple of days since i started crooked kingdom and i am finally at the second part of the story so i'm about around page 70 and not gonna lie i'm not like binge reading it or anything like i'm not super sucked into the story right now and that's probably because i'm trying to finish my grad classes right now so i'm a little stressed but when I do pick it up, I'm enjoying the world. I'm enjoying Lee Bardugo's amazing writing. And I honestly didn't really miss the characters, but I am having fun just like seeing where they're at with their, their plot and their scheming. And I feel really bad for Inej. Um, I just finished her chapter before part two and I just wish they're all together. Um, I know this book made a lot of people cry, so I'm assuming a lot more will happen. And yeah, I'll, I need to make more time to prioritize, prioritize this, um, but that's how I'm feeling right now. It's way more fast paced than um, Six of Crows was, so I'm enjoying the beginning. And I just, I need to read more basically. Um, so I'll do that and then I'll check back in with all of you. so sleepy um and my hair is a mess that's fine i finally made it to page 100 um in crooked kingdom and i feel so sad for nina and Inej, of course and yeah i think i like the chapters with them the most right now the story is pretty interesting but a lot is going on so i'm, I'm ready for it all to come together um and see how it all comes together 
I just started part three of Parker Kingdom and I'm a little under 200 pages into the book. I really like the action scenes. I really like the banter. I think the banter is maybe a little too much at some points just because I'm waiting for more plot to happen. They're scheming, they're doing their best, and I just want to see all that unfold right now. I am really shocked but intrigued by Nina's um, arc right now with her dealing with the withdrawal from Parem and Matthias is so sweet. I, I think he's my favorite and I don't think that's a very common thing in this fandom. I don't see a lot of people talking about how much they like him so maybe maybe I'm not supposed to. I don't know. I really like him and Nina though and Inej um, just got back with the crows so it's feeling much more fun to read now that all the characters are back together. And I think it's interesting how the world is being developed and how the advancement or the usage of Parem is affecting Grisha. Um, so I'm definitely intrigued. It's just this book is so long. Like I feel like I'm taking a long time to get through this because summer is nearing its end and I just have so much I want to do. Um, but I am I am enjoying it, so it's a good sign. Yeah, I shouldn't leave my hair like this. You know, sometimes you just don't want your hair in your face. But I have made progress. Not a lot. <laughs> But I made it to page 200 and I'm about halfway in the middle of part three. And like I said in the previous clips, I'm enjoying it, but something about the either the pacing of the story or maybe just the... I'm not sure actually. There's just something about it that feels really drawn out. And I don't know if that's the pacing, the multiple storylines getting set up. All of the crows have one big goal, but they all have different parts in their goal. And as we go between different perspectives, we are seeing what their duty is and what they're capable of. And also like their internal struggle and like relationship stuff and some characters I'm really enjoying that deep dive. Like I really, really like Nina's chapter or chapters because I think her internal struggle with um, this new addiction to Param, even though she's only used it once, is just so, it's so different from what I usually read in a YA fantasy. And Nina's already so likable. She's definitely one of my favorite characters from the first book. So seeing her still try to be like, funny and she's still very lovable and very like lighthearted while actually dealing with all of this I think is a very interesting contrast to her character um, and I think Matthias is a very sweet character so I also like reading from his perspective I think he adds a funny seriousness to the banter um, among the crows and I also like Inez's chapters and I think with Kaz, um, Jesper, and Wylan, I'm just a little more disengaged with them. Not sure why, just something doesn't connect or excite me when I read their perspective. So all of those things combined, it's making this a really slow read, which is unfortunate. That doesn't mean it's bad, it's just I wish I was at the point in this book where I just can't put it down. But I can easily put this down, so... That's where I'm at. I hope things just pick up and pick up, um, whether that is the plot or just my interest as I fall deeper and deeper into this world. Oh, look at this cute fruit bookmark. My sister made it and I laminated it. So cute. Does it fit the tone of this? No, but it makes me happy. I am annotating this as I read as well, but it's nothing, nothing interesting. I'm just ha ha ing LOLing, L M A O ing, um, and just responding to like random things the student annotated. So I won't show too much of that, but I will check in in another 100 pages or so. I 
I've made enough progress for another check-in. Um, but also, like, if you watch my um, Japan vlog video, which was way shorter than I intended it to be, um, you would have seen the clip where I made rings with my boyfriend, and this is the ring. Is she cute? So, let me see if I can pull it off. Um, the employee, our teacher who helped us make this, she asked me if I wore rings tighter or looser, and I was nervous and I just said tighter because that made the most sense, right? Um, but I kind of wish it was looser. Um, so like a little twisted ring, if you can see that. Um, and then it's engraved too. Okay, but back to what you're all here for, which is how I'm doing with Crooked Kingdom. And I'm, I'm doing my best with it. It, my enjoyment of the story ebbs and flows, um, it's like there are parts of it that I really, really love. I really love the conversations these characters have. I really love seeing them push each other to work on their trauma and to acknowledge things and to seek help. Those things of the story are great and I think I mean, the intended audience of this is like older young adults. Um, so I think having that represented in a book that is so popular is great and amazing. And I'm glad that so many people love these characters and enjoy a story like this. What I'm struggling with is the structure of the story. So in Six of Crows, we were introduced to the characters individually and then saw their interactions and how they would come together to try to do this one big mission, this big heist. And that format was a little slow in the beginning, unless you really fell for the characters in the beginning, then it probably didn't feel slow for you, but slow in the beginning, and then builds up momentum, builds up um, excitement and action. Um, whereas this one, it's like very cyclical. We have um, a goal, the characters have a goal, they work together to make a plan. Things go wrong for their plan, or things go wrong and their plan doesn't work out. So they have to reconvene and make a new plan and then go through all those details and figure out what's the best solution. So this happens like over and over again. And we're in like maybe the third plan at this point um, on page, oh my God, I'm being, I'm at page 400, so around 400, page 400, we're at like the third plan already. Um, and that's not, that's not a bad structure. It's just, it loses my interest. And I'm not sure if anyone else feels that way about this particular book, but like things that have been interesting in the plot. I don't remember the last time I checked in with all of you, but Jasper kissing Kue instead of while in an accident was yikes. The moment, that moment between Kaz and Inej was very soft and sweet. And I liked that they were trying to push each other to overcome um, and to share their difficult past without doing it so harshly. It was very gentle, it was very sweet. I also like, actually, no, that's about it right now. <laughs> um, I like the individual pair like interactions. I like Nina and Matthias. I like Nina and Inej. They're such good friends. They're cuties. I, I really, really enjoy um, seeing their interactions together. So that's, that's just kind of where I'm at. It's, if it's feeling three stars. The, this is a book that everyone gives a five star. So I'm a little sad about that, but I have a little over a hundred pages left. So things can change and I will let you know if they do or not. Um, this is also probably the nicest I will look in this video because I actually went out today and caught up with a friend. But I'm gonna go change into my inside clothes now and not be looking like this. So I'll, I'll see you when I see you. Okay, hi everyone. This is gonna be a very quick wrap up because we've 
literally have a heat wave. I finished Crooked Kingdom by Lee Bardugo. I read, I read all of these pages and I'm not gonna lie to you all. I, I didn't like this as much as Six of Crows and I thought I would like it more because it starts off um, just putting us into the story, into the action. We didn't have that slow beginning that Six of Crows had um, and we did get a lot of character growth and interactions in this sequel but I like I said in the past couple of clips or maybe the last one something about the structure of this is just really redundant and that redundancy is probably really fun if you're super super into the fandom if you absolutely adore the characters you get because you get to see all of these cute funny um and like heart-wrenching um heartwarming moments between these different pairs of characters um like the friendship um and a fight between jesper and kaz was really interesting because we know jesper has his own issues and kaz isn't the one to uh, like verbally give anyone affirmation and stuff like that and jesper seems like someone who is seeking that out and we get to see like them deal with their shit we get to see the warmth between nina and anej um and all like the r romantic stuff as well but i don't i don't love these characters enough for that to be enough for me to enjoy this book when the sad thing happened and i won't outright say what it is i got sad because it is it's a sad moment but i didn't like bawl or cry and i really really wanted to but that was the reality of this experience is that i i enjoy these characters i enjoy this world but i'm not fully invested or fully in love with it and i don't think i'm, I'm going to read king of whatever king of scars there's there's a little tidbit of it in the back so King of Scars, yeah, I don't think I'm going to read that. My favorite aspect of this reading experience was that I got to see all the funny comments from a student that I adore. An average reading experience, but not the worst thing ever. And that's all I really have to say about it. Thanks for sticking with me, and I'll, I'll see you in the next video. Enjoy your day or night. Bye!